She cherished all life and transformed herself into a mana tree to watch over the world. Thus the legend began. Sorry, I didn't expect to open up with narration. As time passed, memory of the goddess faded from people's hearts. One day, a man crept into the sanctuary where the mana tree slumbered. With the power of mana, he built a great civilization. But this marked the dawn of a terrible age of darkness. The man forced the world to kneel to his will. His name was Vandal. Vandale? Vandal? When souls were trapped in the darkness of despair, a glimmer of hope shone in the hearts of a few brave youths. The fighting was fierce, but they would not give up. One wielded a holy blade that gleamed as brightly as the hope in their hearts. Powerless before this light, the darkness was vanquished. The power of mana was reclaimed from human hands and restored to its rightful place. But now... The people have forgotten the goddess once again. Yeah, that just opens straight away with narration. I did not expect that at all. I haven't even pushed New Game yet. It just... You don't see that very often on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> anyway, let us yellow, Sword of Mana. Yeah. Welcome back to... Let me do this in order. Let's... Welcome to Let's YOLO, where permadeath is our way of life. We are playing Sword of Mana, as you see right here, on the Game Boy Advance. I think that covers about everything. Select a character. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go with her, for the heck of it. Name your character... New Moo. <laughs> Maybe not New Moo. Uh, New... New Mom. There we go. This dream again. It's a nightmare. Oh, please don't make me see it again. In the beginning... The world was void. Is this the same cutscene again? Then the goddess appeared in her left in her left hand. She held the light of hope, and in her right, the sword of mana. The goddess summoned spirits to assist in the creation of life. I don't think it's the same one. Finally, to maintain peace, the goddess cast away the sacred sword. It is said the sword rust rusted the moment it left her hand. The goddess then transformed herself into a great tree that would sustain and watch over the world. A mystical power guards the sanctuary where the tree stands to this day. <laughs> and that is the song of the Mana Clan. Mother, that was great! I feel as if I could see the mana tree itself. Oh you, always exaggerating. Strange, that's the first time I've heard that song, but it sounded so familiar. There's an even better songstress in the world than your mother, you know. Will I ever meet her? I'm certain you will. You can count on it. Goody! Alright now, no more long faces. You know I'm not one for long goodbyes. Mother, no crying. Even if I'm going away on a long trip, okay? I don't want to be embarrassed. I think you might be the one fighting back the tears. You always were strong. I would really rather just stay here. I mean, I love the people around here. But if I go out into the world, I don't think I'll like everyone. I guess I'm just a little uneasy. Sweetie, there will always be people you don't like. But... I don't want to dislike anyone. 
Liking and disliking have something in common. Your heart speaks to you, and you try to understand one another. That's an interesting way to look at it. It's like a Saturday morning cartoon special uh, moral lesson condensed into a little prologue dialogue. As long as you feel, that's what matters. As long as I feel, huh? Mother, did you take a long trip when you were my age too? That's right. I set off to see the world accompanied by a Mana Clan swordsman. Don't analyze so much. Go and say your goodbyes to everyone. Alright. New Mom, you're traveling with a Bogard, the Gemma Knight? I heard all about him. He was really something. Is he in the village yet? I don't think so. I wonder what he's like. I can't wait to see him. But I'll bust out laughing if he's some lame old geezer. Oh, Willy. Take care of yourself, girl. Take care of yourself? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So you're off tomorrow, eh? Thanks for everything, Kasim. Bogar, the swordsman who will be accompanying you, is scheduled to arrive sometime today. Does Sir Bogard travel all the time? That's right. He's got important business all over the world. It sure is great to have such an experienced travel companion. Well, he's a peculiar man, so you won't be bored. Kasim, we got trouble! Some guys leading a bunch of soldiers, a bunch of soldiers, a bunch of soldiers, and they're headed this way. What? Soldiers? In our little village? What can I do for you? So this is the heretics' village. Heretics? Battles rage everywhere, but you seem to have a peaceful town here. Even though people are suffering elsewhere, you seem to be enjoying yourselves. Not that business again. I'm sick of hearing it. You've been the cause of your own hardships. First of all, peace? Preaching at me? How dare you preach at Dark Lord. His name is Dark Lord. Can you not see how evil you are if you take a name like Dark Lord? You, who weaponize peace and wealth using mana power for evil. Monopolize pe Oh, monopolize. Why did I read that as weaponized? <laughs> what is he someone accuse someone of weaponizing peace and wealth? How dare you weaponize peace? Of course, there are people in the world who are trying to do that these days, more or less. Don't push your luck, heretic. Get them! Arrest the heretics! Don't let a single one scurry away! Just arrest an entire town at once! Nothing bad can possibly come of that. Now, now. Come along quietly. Eek! Elise, take her and escape. Y yes. Mother, run on ahead. No, I can't leave you behind. I told you there'd be no escape. Why are you attacking the Mana Clan? You're getting your just desserts. You can't hoard mana power alone forever. Hoard? Mana power flows in abundance everywhere. Your own country is full of mana power. Don't waste your rebuttals on me. How dare you speak logic in my direction. Dark Lord has already passed judgment. Eliminating your village is the will of all of Grand's realm. Wow, this escalated quickly. First you had to set off on like a medieval Pokemon journey and now your entire village is getting raised. How could you? Don't listen to him. You escape while I hold him off. You'll regret this. Run! Run away! Get going! And go find your real mother! You little brat, I never wanted you anyway! What? Military tight man. Fire in the village! Is it realm soldiers? No, it must be Dark Lord! 
Elise, what's going on? I don't want to tell you like this, but this might be my only chance. So listen, I am not your mother. You have another. She's your real mother. Quickly now, Bogard, please take care of her. Count on it, Elise. Don't worry about her. She's in good hands. Mother! Sir Bogard? What seems to be the matter? Herman, you must protect this girl. This is a long intro for a Game Boy Advance game. Are you awake, sweetheart? My mother! Bogard told me. He said your village was under attack. I have to get home! I, I have to save mother! New mom, I can't imagine how you feel. But your village is... it's not there anymore. You're lying. You're just playing some cruel joke. It can't be true. It just can't be. I'm going home. Mother must be worried. Oh, but... I'd bring back your beloved village if I only could. But I can't. All I can do is weep with you. So it's true? The village... nothing's left? I don't know what really happened. But I do know that Bogard wouldn't lie. If it was indeed Dark Lord who attacked the Mana Clan, as he said, then I suppose... Where is Sir Bogard? Here at the estate? He's talking to my husband, Consul Herman. Oh, it's such a bad dream. A terrible nightmare. But remember that you are not alone in this. We shall discuss this with Lord Grands tomorrow. Let's go to bed now and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, mother. Wake up! You must flee now! <laughs> she gonna have to lose two mothers and be forced to flee from two villages in a row? <laughs> Lord, that's, that's the worst intro or the worst history I've ever seen. Not like worst writing, but the worst possible luck. What? What's wrong? Where's Sir Bogard? There's no time to explain! Take her with you! Hurry! Go! Who's this? Mom, what's going on? Keep quiet! Just get going! I'll deal with them! Open up! It looks like the ancient armor from Zelda. Interesting. With a Pokeball on it. <laughs> One moment, please! I'm dressing for bed! Go! Quickly! Auntie! No, Mom! You come too! You're a big boy now. Take care of her. So, is he the other playable character? If you pick him, does the story just pick up here and then the story diverges? Because that would be really awesome, actually. To have, like, a two-part story. You can live out each part. Kind of like, um, Star Ocean, I think, does that. Don't worry about your father and me. Prince Stroud is such a nice man. I'll tell you all about it later. <clears throat> They're not nice men, unfortunately. Don't make me watch. No! Looks like you were having a nightmare. That dream again. No matter what you do, that memory comes back to haunt you, doesn't it? It's all because I abandoned him. I left him and that family behind to die. Don't be ridiculous. But... Some things you can do by yourself, and others you can't. If you don't understand that, you're no different from Dark Lord. What? I'm not entirely sure that follows through, but I'll run with it. Me? Like Dark Lord? That's right. You need to judge yourself rationally. I want to know what happened to him. 
If you think you can handle the truth, you should find out for yourself. What was that kid's name? Well, there's really only one name to give him at this point. Ah! It was New Dad. New Dad? You mean you knew New Dad? No, not really. Who is the son of my good friend, Herman? Really? Who was the kid from the estate? But wait, didn't he go with you? How did you abandon him if he ran away with you? Yes, that's right. His parents were... Were they killed? I can't say for sure. I didn't see how it all ended. Oh. Cheer up, new mom. They're probably just doing just fine. Alright then. It's time to get moving. But to where? You're sick of being haunted by the past here too, aren't you? New mom, you need to find the survivors of the Mana Clan. They've got to be hiding out somewhere. Keep your chin up, eh? Alright, Sir Bogard. I won't give up hope. But what about you? Now that you mention it, I've got plenty to do. Alrighty, time to get out of here. You've got Folkston to visit and topple. Okay, sounds good. Hey. Oh, it's clear out here. I assume that sound was rain, but I guess it's a completely sunny day. Do you know how to use magic? Um, no. What am I gonna do with you? Under spirits, select the one to use, then press the R button. Pressing the button summons the spirit, and letting go of the button releases it. How long you press the button determines whether it uses attack or support magic. If you're out of MP, sit down and rest. You do that by pressing the A button and the L button at the same time. You got that? Okay. Learned sit ability. Alright, we are learning to sit! We are officially have reached, officially reached the rank of dog. And by all means, pray to any mana statue you find, so that mana goddess will be able to protect you. I need to get some info, Grand Grand's Castle. After you go to Topple to pay your respects, wait for me here. So Bogard, please be careful. All right, and we are playing. Wow, it's very much like Secret of Mana. Okay, spirits. Healing light, 3 MP, wisp, 6 MP. So I guess that's the one I have right now. I'm going on limb and saying this is a... I don't even know what it is. Oh yeah, that's save. You don't want to save right now. That's not the point of this whole thing. Cascade, what is that sound? If it's not raining on the roof, what is that sound? Is this supposed to be the ocean? Why is it louder in here than it is out there? Yeah, I hear nothing out here. Oh, it's probably that waterfall, but I can't hear it out here. I just have to make room for the music. I don't seem to have a weapon. Top all outskirts. Oh. I do have a weapon. It's a staff. Really crappy staff. Danger, waterfall ahead. Okay. Battle system is kind of different. Yeah, it feels a little. I mean, it actually feels more responsive than the SNES game, to be honest. Attacking is a little delayed, but enemies react to your attacks a bit better. If you're wondering how I'm playing this, it is an original card. I actually just found it at a secondhand store a couple days ago. I thought I'd try it out. So I love Secret of Mana. I actually even like the Legend of Mana on the PlayStation. Well, why did why did she do that? 
yeah, I just wanted to play it. That's the entire reason I'm here. I thought it would make a fun little play here. It's funny, I, I never hear anyone talk about this one. It's like a true, full-on sequel. You know, people don't often talk about handhelds, to be honest. It's sad. If the game is handheld, it just... Unless you're Link's Awakening. Unless you're a Nintendo game. It tends to have a lot less prestige. Why does every single screen have a different color? Is it nighttime? Is that why they're all asleep? Or is it just shrouded here? Oh. Gumdrop. Yeah, this is... A full-on sequel to Secret of Mana that I've never heard of, really. Okay, what is that? Why am I blinking? What does that mean? Oh! That's cool. So your special attacks are kind of tied to... That little meter at the bottom. It's more like a limit meter than the original game's charge meter. Combat's actually a little smoother than the original. There's one thing I thought it was hilarious when the remake came out. I kind of like the remake, for just for the record. But when it came out, you had so many people looking at it and going, Why is this combat so delayed? It feels so clunky. And I'm going, that's exactly how the original played. Like, exactly. How you hit something and it kind of stops to react, and you can hit it again, it'll react like 10 seconds later after it recovers from its animation. That's exactly how the original Secret of Mana played. It's hilarious how many people jumped into the remake without knowing that. Topple Village. Topple Residence. Topple Gentleman! Hey, long time no see. So have you heard? If the heretic hunters catch you, they make you into a slave. And then day after day, they force you to fight monsters. Just for their entertainment. I thought I'd snap when I first heard it. How long has Grand's Realm been like this? Since Dark Lord gained political power, he denied mana power to differentiate himself from Vandal, but in the end, he's as bad as Emperor Vandal. Vandal. Siva the Sage, who lives in Wendell, knows all about it. You should go ask him. Siva the Sage, in Wendell. That must be my next destination. She noted it very purposefully. Hopefully I can remember that. I don't think there's anything to tell me about that. Let's see. Status, weapons... Attack trait, bash. Yeah, the staff is the only thing I have. I'll probably get more later, because that's how Zelda... That's Zelda. Secret of Mana works. NPC behavior? Oh, you get party members, probably. That's cool. So, is this the equip screen? It is. Wow, that's possibly even more clunky than Secret of Mana. To go through like three menus to get to it. It's old news, but there were several disappearances at Vinquette's Hall to the east. Tales of attractive girls who went missing. I'm hardly pretty, so I should be safe, right? Oh, don't sell yourself short, lady. No. Oh my my, no need for flattery. But I fear heretic hunters may come for me soon. Er, no, never mind. So are you a heretic or not? Blast it! I can't seem to sell this shabby notebook. Topple General Store. Hey, he's even still dancing. Topple Woman! Did you hear the news? The caves to Wendell have been sealed. Sealed? They say the master of Vinket Hall did it. Now I can't go see my daughter in Wendell. Welcome! Oh, now like buy a weapon or something? Accessories? And I currently have nothing. I'm not entirely sure what int does. I assume that's magic power? Or maybe that's mind. Um... I can't afford it anyway. Never mind. Thank you very much.
Topple Residence. Topple Boy! Hey, lady! Wants well, a real important book in the meadow that's beyond the forest to the south. Could you, like, go get it for me and stuff? Um, okay. Thanks! It's in the meadow beyond the forest south of here. Watch out for soldiers! Topple Grandfather! Now, you don't have to label everybody Topple, just call them Boy and Grandfather and crap. Do you pray to the Mana Goddess every day? Uh, no, I'm not very good at that. Crimini! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times to pray every day. Have I ever met you before? Why won't you do what I tell you? I guess I come here often. I didn't realize that. Well, I guess I kind of have to since I live in a lonely shack, apparently. Do you know about the orchard? Uh, no. At the orchard, you can turn two seeds into a mysterious plant that bears fruit. Monsters occasionally drop seeds. Keep that in mind. Again, RPG rules apply. I'm not going to be farming for experience or items or gold or anything like that. Mum's the word. They say the master of Inket Hall beyond Batmo Cave is an underworld mole. Mavel. Mavel? Underworld Mavel. The hall's gate is only open after dark. Mavels. Seems there used to be a lot of them. Welcome! It's 10 Luca, third to room. Would you like to stay? I'm actually low on magic, so I can go do that. Take care of yourself. I'm the best, apparently! I'm glad they gave me a title just for staying at the inn. Okay, remember, I think I'm going, I guess I'm going south to get that the kid's book. Topple village ahead. Oh, you bum. Ah! Am I poisoned? I am poisoned. Crap, I'm dying. Holy crap. Uh, cure? That wasn't cure. Uh, how do I tell it to do this other thing? I don't want to attack! I don't think I have enough money to actually stay at the inn again. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to come back after I leave. I need to be prepared. I for I'm forgetting my own rules. I have no... <laughs> Do I have like a healing item? Okay, I can at least heal my HP. Unfortunately, the game didn't come with instructions, so that's not an option. Angel Grail. That's usually... Resurrection, I think? But I don't have another character to use it on me, so it's kind of useless right now. Yeah. That's pointless for me at this moment. Oh. Nice animation for just smacking your wand into something. Oh! I do really like that running and attacking isn't tied to the same stamina meter. That's actually a lot better than the original, if you ask me. Path to Tupple! Oh, you bum. Beat the crap out of a rabbi. I took it out quickly enough. That seems like a good special attack if you're surrounded, but... I mean, it does a lot of damage. I'm sure it'll be good against bosses. Okay, I can't go down that way. Level up. 
I assume that's me level up? Nothing. Okay, there's supposed to be a book in a meadow past the forest. I think I'm past the forest now. Hey, they're gonna keep respawning, aren't they? Apparently, my name is just level up now. Do I have to do something to level up? Level up. Choose type to level up. Oh. A warrior type, monk type, magician type, sage type, thief type. Oh, okay. Random. <laughs> if you want to live dangerously. Um. I haven't even figured out how the magic system works. So I kind of don't want to do magician. I usually love spellcasters, but I don't, literally don't know how the magic is working here. I could just go random and see what happens. That sounds ridiculously fun, actually. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Random. Alright, I have defense. Int, agility, HP, and MP. Alright, I can live with that. 